is just in. August is hotter than ever at Appalachian Wireless as they are slashing all normal contract pricing on all smartphones by 50% when you sign up for service. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. The discussion about the petition to allow Pike County voters to potentially change the county's fiscal court seems far from over. At today's meeting of the Pike Fiscal Court, County Clerk Rhonda Taylor told the court that she has concerns about the legality and the validity of the petition turned in by the Political Action Committee, Pike Countyans Against Government Waste. She said the number of signatures to add a question to the ballot of whether voters want the court to be commissioner-based rather than magistrate-based was achieved by combining a petition conducted this year and one conducted and turned in to county officials last year. That, she said, raises serious questions about the petition's legality. Now, I'm not an attorney. I don't see how it could be legal, but according to my legal counsel, he says that it is. Because the petition was not dated and that it hadn't actually been turned in because the deadline was missed. So, therefore, they say that it can be added to the second set of petition. Assistant County Attorney John Doug Hayes told the court he was initially in favor of adding the measure to the ballot after the petition was turned in. He said during today's court meeting and after citing a past Attorney General's opinion that major problems exist. He also said County Attorney Howard Keith Hall said the measure should go to court. I think there are serious, serious legal issues. I agree with you. Uh, the County Attorney, uh, earlier this morning, talking about the county attorney, not the assistant county attorney judge, uh, has recommended, based on what you have told the public and told this court, that it be put into court on a declaratory judgment action. And let's see if we can get some law clarified, which will help you, me, and everybody else in the future. The Pike Fiscal Court took no action on the discussion, and magistrates took little part in the discussion about the potential legal concerns. Reporting in Pikeville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.